Good evening, everybody. Thank you. I'm glad you can hear me. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Hillwood High School class of 2022. My name is Dr. Stephen Schaefer, and I'm proud to serve as the executive principal at Hillwood. Before sits me almost 200 soon-to-be graduates of Hillwood. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Hillwood High School, we congratulate each and every one of you on reaching this major accomplishment. You also join a list that includes the Rolling Stones, the Grateful Dead, Elvis Presley, Bruce Springsteen, the Harlem Globetrotters, for you wrestling fans, Ric Flair, and more. They have all performed here and gave their audience a memorable night. Through your hard work and dedication, you are giving everyone in this arena a memorable night tonight. The class of 2022, please join me in thanking three very special groups of people. First, our MNPS school board and support hub. Representing them tonight is uh, school board member Ms. Abigail Tyler, Chief of Academics and Schools Dr. Mason Bellamy, Executive Director for High Schools Dr. Carl Carter, Executive Director for Middle Schools Dr. Craig Hammond. We appreciate your support for the class of 2022. Second, there's some very important people sitting directly behind you tonight. The Hillwood faculty and staff, over 100 members strong that have worked hard to get you to this point tonight. They started back in the fall of 18 before you even stepped foot through the doors and continued through graduation today. They have guided your journey and support you as you pursue your next chapter in life. Thank you to the wonderful faculty and staff of Hillwood High School. And finally, the people with the biggest smiles on their faces tonight are your family and friends that surround you right now. Your parents, your guardians, they were your first teachers 17, 18 years ago, and they have remained part of this journey through elementary school, through middle school, and now as you complete your high school years. Tonight, they get to see the results of their investment in your educational process. Please join me in thanking your parents and your family and friends. And on one quick personal note, the class of 2022 is very special to me. We both started our high school journeys four years ago in the fall of 2018. You all were freshmen, and I was in my first year as a high school principal at Hillwood. We came in full of excitement and ready to make the next four years as memorable as they could be. However, I think all of us would agree the last four years did not play out like many of us had hoped for. However, despite those challenges that life gave us, you all found a way to persevere. You made it to graduation day. For some, that day was never in question. For others, it was far from certain, even as a few days ago. But whatever the path that took you to this point, you have made it to the end and you are now about to become graduates of Hillwood High School. The certificate you earned tonight and all that went into earning it brings you great power and opportunity. I invite you to go use that to better your individual circumstances, but also go out and improve our larger society as a whole. In the words of Vince Lombardi, the measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. It has been an honor to serve as your principal for the last four years, and I wish you nothing but the best on your future endeavors. Now it is my honor to introduce your senior class president, Ms. Ellie Rubin, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise as we re recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, our Hillwood Chamber Choir will now sing You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please remain standing as our Hillwood Chamber Choir plays our national anthem. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets were clear, the bombs bursting in air. It Now you may be seated. Again, my bad. <laughs> At this time, our Hillwood Chamber Choir will now sing You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. So 
thank you to our Hillwood Chamber Choir. At this time, Ms. Shaver will now come and give some accomplishments of the class of 2022. Good evening, graduates, parents, families, and friends. My name is Ashley Shaver, and I'm the school counselor for the Art Design and Communication and Engineering Academy. I would like to take a moment and reflect on some accomplishments from the class of 2022. After two years of virtual and in-person learning, you were still able to accomplish great things. 43 seniors tonight will graduate with a diploma of distinction by meeting one of the following requirements. They've passed two or more AP tests with a three or higher. They passed an industry certification and have a 3.0 or higher GPA, or they earned 12 or more post-secondary credits through our dual enrollment classes. Eight seniors are considered college board AP scholars. These students achieved at least a 3.0 or higher AP average and scored a three or higher on three or more AP exams. Two seniors will graduate with a Diploma of Honors based on their ACT scores. We're awarding three AP Capstone Diplomas. These individuals passed the AP Capstone Seminar and Research Exam with a three or higher and achieved a score of three or higher on four or more AP exams. We also have our second student from Hillwood that is graduating with a Seal of Biliteracy. This individual has showed competency in both the English language as well as a secondary language. One senior was named a National Merit Finalist. 76 seniors passed industry certifications. Of these seniors, 11 individuals earned certification in two different areas, and five individuals earned certification in three different areas. 29 seniors earned the TriStar Scholar Seal by passing an industry certification exam and earning a 19 or higher ACT score. About 130 seniors are planning to attend a two-year, four-year, or technical school. That's approximately 63% of the graduating class. And Hillwood had our second annual Senior Signing Day where we recognized all seniors and their future plans. We have two seniors that will be joining the military and three seniors that will further their education in college playing athletics. To date, the class of 2022 has brought in approximately $1 million in scholarships. These are just some of the highlights from the class of 2022. We know there are many more. Congratulations to each and every graduate on all your accomplishments. Continue to push forward and we look forward to hearing about all your future endeavors. Thank you, Ms. Shaver. It is now an honor to present to you our co-valedictorians for the class of 2022, Anjali Kimbo and Rudra Patel. Hello and good evening, parents, friends, extended families, teachers, distinguished guests, and most importantly, graduates. My name is Angelie Kimbo, and I wanted to extend a warm welcome to all in attendance. My name is Rudra Patel, the taller co-valedictorian, and I want to extend a deep thank you to everyone who has continuously supported the class of 2022, to the numerous teachers, coaches, mentors, and adults who have helped and encouraged our class to persevere and finish strong. We wouldn't be here without you. And as Rudra hands it back to the older co-valedictorian. As if five days counts as older. I wanted to take a minute and dedicate the speech to the most influential people in my life. To my mom and dad, thank you for your sacrifices and acts of selflessness in order for me to pursue my education to its fullest potential. From moving halfway around the world and working long hours to the reassuring words that have pushed me to become better, your guidance has shaped every aspect of my life and for that I can't thank you both enough. To my little brother Lawrence, thank you for being my built-in best friend. You're a force to be reckoned with and it's hard to believe what my life will look like in college without you just around the corner to tell me to take a break from studying. And to my parents, thank you for all that you've done to help me achieve my goals. I couldn't have asked for better role models growing up, and it is by watching you guys work nonstop to make your dreams a reality that I am who I am today. 
to my sisters, Roma and Rada. Thank you for being the best sisters anyone could ask for. You've always been there when I needed you guys, and for that, I can't thank you enough. To our friends, whether graduating with us tonight, the ones in the stands, and the ones watching from home, who have always offered words of encouragement and constant reassurance. Thank you. Your support means more than you know, and we can't wait to see how far you all will go. But we aren't here to rant about ourselves, especially Rudra's new PR on how fast he can solve a Rubik's Cube. Or Angelie's crippling coffee addiction and unhealthy sleeping habits. Or the, or the fact that my best friend of five years has followed me around to even sharing this title. We are here to celebrate our accomplishments as a class. When we walked into school for the first time in freshman year, we didn't know that it would be our last normal year of school. Those were the last days untouched by irregular worries, the days untouched by the pandemic. And now, in what feels like a blink of an eye, we're graduating adults ready to embark on what lies ahead. But let's first look back on the fleeting memories of our unconventional high school experience. When we first walked into school our freshman year, it felt like we were stepping into a new world, or as new of a world that high school can be. Many of us joined clubs and extracurriculars, picked up a sport or two, made friends with upperclassmen, but overall just attempted to uh, figure out how to navigate newfound freedoms that came with becoming a high schooler. We never imagined that it was our last normal year of school, and as we entered our sophomore year, we were in for a big surprise. In March of 2020, we learned that we were starting spring break early. Then, spring break was given an extra two weeks. It sounded pretty nice at the time, not gonna lie. Then we learned that the school year was canceled and we were given an extreme amount of free time. Time to relax, connect with family, watch TikTok for six hours a day, make whipped coffee, shout out to my sister Roma, do the renegade if you're into that sort of thing, and most importantly, reinvent ourselves. This aspect of growing into more independent and considerate individuals was especially needed in the midst of our junior year. Arguably the most difficult year of high school, our class had to begin the year at home, staring at a screen for eight hours a day. Everything was difficult. The amount of homework we had, staying motivated, and finding ways to keep ourselves sane throughout the pandemic. And this isn't, this isn't even counting the fact that you could go to class and immediately fall asleep, or just not show up in the first place, which was a lifesaver at times. By second semester, we had a chance to come back to school if we wanted to, but things were still far from normal. By making it through junior year, despite the struggles and being forced to just go with the current situation, you should be proud of yourselves. Proud that, when faced with the unprecedented circumstances, you pushed through and made it to where you are today. And that when we entered our senior year, despite the crippling senioritis, despite the L we took against the teachers in basketball, despite everything, we made it here. If there's one thing you should take away from this whole experience, it's to never forget where you came from and the people that helped support you on your way here. As you move forward, remember your roots at Hillwood High School. Be that individual that goes the extra mile to benefit more than just yourself. Be another support and foster a sense of community wherever you may go next. And now before I hand it off to Anjali for the last time, I just wanted to give my final thanks to all who have made this possible for me, for us, and our entire class. As Rudra talked about the past, I wanted to extend the lessons we had learned to apply to all of our future pursuits. Reflection is good, necessary, and significant. If you were to ask me four years ago how I imagined my years in high school would turn out, my answer would be far from reality. And that's how life plays out sometimes. We expect to know relatively what the future holds and the complete opposite happens. Though we cannot dwell and fixate on the past or moments we can no longer alter. One of the many reminders my AP literature teacher, Mr. Mike Morello, tells me follows along the lines of overthinking oftentimes clouds our visions from the larger picture. In this case, overthinking about what has been done thus holds us back from moving forward. I say this because despite everything that has been thrown at us, we are still here. Our achievements should not be taken lightly. Not only do we have state champions, top academic competitors, industry-certified individuals, and community-driven servant leaders within our class, each of us has been forced to grow up quickly. We have been forced to carry out a majority of our time in high school without the quality high school experiences we had hoped for all while carrying out the already present obligations we had. Even through the additional overwhelming challenges that come with being in high school, finding balance and growing up in general, our class has still managed to find our own personal aspirations. However, whether those aspirations consist of starting work, joining the military, going to colleges and universities near and far, we do not have to have everything figured out right now. As Mr. Brad Bishop says, just have a plan. Have a plan that best suits you and caters to your desires and yours alone. So to my peers, just have a plan to fulfill what you hope to attain. Because through uncertainty, adversity, and who knows how many times we've heard unprecedented times, we've done it. 
We're graduating, and as cliche as it may sound, the end of our high school careers just opens a new chapter filled with new opportunities to learn, live, and make the positive impact our world so desperately requires. With this, though, I urge you to make up for lost time. Make memories, say yes to something new, be a guiding light to another who looks up to you, because as well as we have learned this past year, nothing is guaranteed to remain the same. Do not lose sight of what truly matters, but most of all, do not lose sight of who you are or your abilities to succeed. Be tenacious and have the courage to strive towards your goals. And I can't end this speech without quoting one of the strongest, strongest teachers I've had the honor of having. Well-behaved women never make history. So with this piece of advice from the one and only Alexa Claremont, I want to leave you with this. Once you step foot out of this room and thus out of high school, I ask you to live unapologetically. Take those risks and do not fear failure or the criticism of others as we cannot continue to grow if we merely live in comfort. So, and future days without the regrets that you could have possibly enjoyed the time you had a bit more. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Class of 2022, congratulations. Thank you, Angelina and Rudra. At this time, Ms. Rosa will now come and give some encouraging words to the class of 2022. Good evening, Hillwood families, friends, faculty, and staff but most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. We are so glad you are with us on this lovely May night. This is a special moment for me. 11 years ago, almost to the night, I was sitting in the exact seats you are all in, right now amazed that I was about to graduate from Hillwood High School. I remember wondering what the future had in store for me. What was I actually gonna do with my life and what goals did I want to lay before me? Honestly, I did not have all the answers. I was just happy that I accomplished making it through high school. The fact that the start to adulthood was right in front of me didn't even really sink in. I was thinking about what came directly after graduation, the party. If you would have looked at me that night in 2011 and said, Katie, you will be back in 11 years speaking at a Hillwood graduation, I probably would have fallen out of my chair laughing. Not because I didn't have faith in myself, but because at that time, I would have never seen me as an educator and a role model. As you will learn, life doesn't happen in the way we think it will. You will face many challenges, setbacks, moments of fear, and you will face many questions. This is normal. It means you are doing it right. You should have anxiety, uncertainties, misdirection, and doubt in your early adulthood. If you don't, that means you aren't challenging yourself to become the best you, to experience the growth we all must go through to learn who we truly are, to learn who we want to be, to learn how we can be the best versions of ourselves. In order to succeed in life, you have to get out of your comfort zone, push yourself to new limits, and above all, believe in yourself. Never give up fighting for what you want, even when it seems out of reach. Allow yourself to fall down, but always have the courage and strength to get back up. We don't hear it enough, but you are allowed to fail. You are al allowed to repeat a year of school or have multiple jobs, as long as you are continuously moving forward to better yourselves. Throughout these past 11 years, I have experienced extreme joy, happiness, love, and the taste of freedom and independence. On the other side, I have experienced rejection, the loss of loved ones, crippling self-doubt, making the decision to return to college at the age of 21 when all my friends were graduating, struggling financially and emotionally, and yet in the end, I knew I was the only one who could pick myself up. I was in control of my life and my future. It was up to me and my determination to pick myself up when I was down. On my journey, I was blessed enough to have friends and family that supported me, but in the end, I was the only one who could put myself on the path I wanted to be on. Though some days I wanted to give up, I persevered and overcame the hardships. 
Through the good days and the bad days, the highs and the lows, I ended up in a place I never expected to be, but couldn't imagine landing anywhere else. Hillwood in the spring semester of 2019. That year, I was lucky enough to meet you all before me as freshmen. I was so nervous. I was a brand new teacher coming in halfway through the semester, and let's just say, I was told y'all were a lively bunch. As I walked through the halls, I kept a strong face and smiled through the fear and anxiety. Some of us got off to a rocky start, but by May, we were all a weird little family. I have called y'all my kids since freshman year, and in my eyes, you will always be my kids. Through the years, I have had every senior class tell me, we are your favorite, Miss Rosa. And I have to tell them, I love you all, but the class of 2022 holds my heart. To see you all grow from freshman year to senior year has been such a joy. To see you go from little freshies to graduating seniors has been one of the most rewarding chapters in my life and makes my heart so happy. You have preserved through the hardships, the long days, the exams, and the drama. You did that for your families, your teachers, but most importantly for you. Be proud of yourselves, enjoy the accomplishment, but don't forget to look towards the future. You are our future. Never let someone tell you you can't or that you aren't good enough or smart enough or skilled enough. You are always enough as long as you believe this about yourself, as long as you push yourself to accomplish your goals and dreams. Put yourself in hard places. Expect more of yourself. Don't allow loss and failure to derail you. Preserve, live, break the generational curses that are laid out in front of us all. Love yourself and who you are becoming. Know you can stumble, fall, but the only true failure is when you allow yourself to remain down. You are all capable of great things, of being great people, of giving back to our society, and of loving yourself, your neighbors, and those that are different from you. Go out and make the world the world you want to live in. Never stop learning. Vote. Be good humans. Be the people I know you all can be. Be the person you are when it's just us in my classroom. Be weird. Stand out against the crowd. Be bold. Be funny. Make sure to laugh through the hard times and know that I am always here throughout your lives. I love you all so much and you will always be my original kiddos. Next year will be hard without you, but the memories you gave me will always live on in my heart. So now I will leave you with a quote from the fabulous Lizzo. I'm really proud of you because life comes at you fast and sometimes it can be hard. But if I can make it, I know you can make it. We can make it together. Thank you all for the last four years and I love you so much. And to all my Hillwood alum out there, I got one last thing to say. What kind of wood is it? I know you all probably don't like every, every decision I've made in your four years, but I hope you would agree hiring Miss Rosa four years ago was one of the best things I ever did for this school. And if you ever worry about what happens when your kids go to school every day, I can tell you there's a lot more like her that care that much about your kids. And it's an honor to serve with you, Miss Rosa, and the staff. Awesome job tonight. Thank you, Miss Rosa. All right, now we get to the formal stuff. Ms. Tyler, the records of these students have been duly examined and found to be in accordance with the laws of the great state of Tennessee and the policies of the Metropolitan Nashville Public School System. I am proud to recommend the class of 2022 of Hillwood High School for graduation. I certify that each graduate has completed all of the requirements necessary to receive a high school diploma with all the rights, responsibilities, privileges bestowed upon each graduate. Thank you. 
On behalf of the Metropolitan Nashville School Board of Education, it is my honor to certify this graduation process and the awarding of high school diplomas to the 2022 graduate, uh, 2022 graduates of Hillwood High School. I further attest the students receiving these diplomas tonight have met or exceeded all graduation requirements mandated by Metro Nashville Public Schools and the State of Tennessee Department of Education. The Board of Education congratulates the students and their family members. It has been an honor to have you in our schools, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Good evening. It is my honor to introduce you to the graduates of the Academy of Art, Design, Communication, and Engineering. Fatuma Abdi Abdullahi. <laughs> Catherine Danielle Adams. <laughs> Jasmine Jamila Amaru. <laughs> William. Brandon Anderson. <laughs> Jacob Misai Argueta Pojoy. Robert Allen Birdsong. Wesley James Boyd. Emily Renee Bouillon. Andrea Nicole Chavara Caballero. Anaya Perion Claybrooks. Michael Christopher Cox. Nam Hoy Dang. Matthew Connor Dennis. Jerome Rashad Donnell. Koku. No. Yeah, Koku. Mause Narcisse. Adu, Richard. Richard Albert Ewing, Jordan Alexander Ferris, Michael Brett Freeman. Ariana Vera Garlington. Kiwan Naki Gentry. Daru Gadiali. Lydia Marie Goheen. Jamicia Ashana Gordon. Caleb Lee Hampton. Marion Hassan.
Kevin Antonio Hatter. Tristan Maurice Hebb, Jr. Ali Nicole Hendricks. Mary Sue Hensley. Angela May Hensley. Jessica Lynn Herndon. Austin Xavier Isom. Damian Caleb Cecil Houston Jenkins. Gail Alexandria Jones. McAllen's Legrand. Maris Serena Cabura. Madeline Avery Martin. Rico Lamonte McDowell Jr. Talia Alexandria McKnight. Clarence Daniel Harold McLean Jr. Christian Ricardo Minical Funes. Beate Malcolm Mia. Cornaya Cora Middlebrooks. Braden Trey Mitchell. Jaquan Dantes Mosley. Deja Lynn Muirhead. K. Devin Murray. Abdullahi Noor Omar. Elizabeth Grace Palumbo. Alexander Vaughn Pfeiffer. Cora Rosalie Pena. Gabriel Ethan Perry. Sydney Lee Petros. Colby Lamontre Payton. In got men and fam. Astrid Michelle Pojoy Ramos. Michael Ivan Pojoy Vicente. Brendan Christopher Robertson. Charles Gage Robinson. Jaden Germain Rodriguez. Gabrielle Myra Rubin. Connor Michael Russo. Jason Antonio Sandoval. 
Mohammed, Tariq, Shihada. Jade Denise Shepherd. Jason Javon Smith. Jeremy Wayne Smith, Jr. Andrew Tyler Spence. Isaac Joseph Stanford. Isaiah Jamal Stanford. Thomas Lamont Summers. Terrence Montoya Talley. Junior, Brianna Lika Tittle, Adrian Armando Torres, Sarvar Turgon Boyev. Adrian Rayshon Zachary. Gavin Zane. Now for engineering. William Wayne Brackman. DeWitt Clinton Dawkins the fourth. Ben on Doe. Amari Anton Dotson. Mohammed Fined. Martha Sue Hensley. Francis David Perez. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your graduates of the Academy of Art, Design, and Communication and Engineering. And now Michael Morello for Business and Hospitality. And now I am proud to present the 2022 graduating class of the Academy of Business and Hospitality. Maryam Abdulaziz. Anas Khaled Salome Abu Kadera. Abdur Rahim Fazi Aladani. Anastasia Nicole Armstrong. Andrew Thomas Barth. Ishmael Rasheen Briscoe. Kalis Nathaniel Sasha Brown Johnson. Kiwan Lamont Burton. Nicordo Aaron Campbell. Lynn Gia Chin. Isis McKinley Church. Thomas Moore Joseph Collins. Nia Patricia Kova. Brianna Monique Cox. 
Diamond Nicole Crawford. Sierra Elizabeth Custer. Devon Shakur Darden. Brooke Ann Donnelly. Deja Ariel Dyson. Triana Amari Ann Elise. Isabel Nicole Ellis. Hunter Nathaniel Epps. Taylor Monique Forrest. Cameron Blake Fultz. Abigail Caitlin Hanna. Abraham Hernandez Bustos. Julian Hayden Hinson. Van Tien Huang. John Zaid Kadem. Tyler McCray Keniston. <laughs> Darian Vontrell Kennard. <laughs> Fernando Emmanuel Landeros Hernandez. Tyla Mianette Valerie Lofton. Xavion Tremaine London. Andrew O'Neill Maynard. Detorian Terrell Mayo. Anna Mihich. Leslie Nathaniel Miller. Shania Jakia Miller. Brian Fernando Moreno Truillo. Asha Marcinea Parrish Ambrose. Rudra Janak. Kumar Patel. Iber Isaac Paz. Guillermo Wilfredo Pena Ayala. Kelly Margaret Perkerson. Angeli Madeline Kimbo. Edis Antonio Quintero Quintero. Rayshawn Jeremiah Robertson. Manuel Rodriguez. Meredith Abigail Romero. Sarah Juliana Ruiz Leon. Isaiah Prince Salafu. Braden Martin Shetler. Benjamin Brooks Summers. Rachel Takis.
Catherine Elizabeth Timmons. Helen Patricia Vasquez. Javon Cameron Walker. Demarion Rodriguez Waters. Caleb Austin Whitley. Cadence Williams. Liliana Margaret Wren. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022 Academy of Business and Hospitality. And finally, I present to you the Academy of Health Science graduates for the class of 2022. Adriana Itai Aguilar Rico. Samira Ali Ahmed. Jarrett Daniel Elman Richardson. Emma Marie Osprooks. Amanda Marie Bell. Jerrica Chrislyn Lachey Bussell. Kelly Coe. Ronchel Deshawn Day. Jalen Renee Dodson. Alyssa Dawn Donald. Miranda Jean Dozier. Iman Mahmoud El Khatib. Isabel Grace Epps. Ayla Marie Gerber. Aniston Lee Glenn. Cecilia May Goheen. Connor James Harris. Bridget Nicole Jordan. Miley Van Lee. Sean Alexander Lee Marshall. Joy Nicole McPherson. Emily Lizeth Mejia. Dian Tan Nguyen. Leslie Arlette Olvera Perdoma. Desiree Alyssa Parsons Perez. Sergio Ivan Perez Espino. Riley Megan Rocco. Alicia Isabella Zadea Reese. Seth Zane Robinson. Catherine Paige Russell. Egalor Kathleen Sam Ogaga. Tamia Marshall Inez Smith. 
Robin Nicole Spears. Emma Holland Spuler. Laron Stadovici. Two, not my fan. Ariana Latasha Marie Tillis. Adonaya Joelle Wallace. Piper Michelle Watts. Carly Grace Whitaker. Jamison Winfrey Hambrick. And William Alexander York. If the class of 2022 will please rise and turn your tassel. Congratulations, you guys have done it! All right, you got to sit down one more time. Promise, last time. All right, we're going to close us out of here. In just a moment, we will sing our Hillwood alma mater. They have been practicing. You're going to be amazed at the singing talent. Following the alma mater, we ask that our guests around the outer bowl remain seated while the graduates exit out the rear. I feel like I'm on an airplane. Out the rear. Okay, family and friends, we've been asked for you all when you do leave to head out on the 4th Avenue exit. The graduates will meet you outside. We ask that everybody stay safe tonight as you celebrate this amazing accomplishment. We look forward to hearing the many great things that the class of 2022 will do. And now, the Hillwood Quartet will lead us in the alma mater. Please rise. 